uh, the less pomp in most circumstances could take. <laughs> we just wanted to we just wanted to tell you folks that as soon as the procession stops, we're going to be quiet and let the let the pictures speak for themselves. But we just wanted to let you guys know that uh, uh, the folks out there know that uh, these particular proceedings can be viewed on either CINCOM or United Video Wednesday, June 3rd at 8 p.m., Thursday, June 4th at 9 p.m., Saturday, June 6th at 3 p.m., and Sunday, June 7th at 6.30 p.m. Now, uh, on United Video, that's channel 3, and on CENTCOM, it's channels 8 or 44. And if someone would like to receive a copy of this tape uh, from the CINCOM cable company, they may send a check uh, for $25 to made uh, payable to CINCOM and send it to the attention of Larry Hart at CINCOM cable at 19, I'm sorry, at 9358 Dealman Industrial Drive, and that's St. Louis 63132. Or if you'd just like to find out more information about that, you may call CINCOM at 997-7570. Dan, these uh, students, as they come in, uh, uh, tremendous scholarship winners this year, and uh, I think you've got some totals on uh, yes. the value of the various uh, and numerous uh, scholarships earned by uh, these graduates here this evening. Well, the, as if the good secretaries at Lafayette didn't have enough to do today, they, I asked them for a printout of all the scholarships, and it was about uh, 15 pages thick. Uh, n a number of students ran, uh, won numerous scholarships, and the grand total was over $2,300,000 which I suppose if you divide by 600, somebody smarter than me could figure out a nice average. But uh, these kids do well not only on the athletic field, as we all are aware, but they also do well in the academic fields as well. And I think uh, uh, with the, a large number of the graduating class and uh, Eureka's graduating class tomorrow evening, uh, those graduate numbers are up in the Rockwood School District, and right. I think that's consistent, of course, with the Rockwood School District at this time in its history, as it, uh, for the last five years, has uh, led in, in uh, the state of Missouri of all school districts in enrollment growth, uh, growing anywhere from eight to 900 to 1,000 students a year, and that's the reason for uh, the need for the building programs that uh, people living in the Rockwood School District uh, can see happening with a new um, high, two new high schools uh, going to be under construction uh, right away, uh, two that's new middle correct. schools under construction and additions to some other uh, schools. And so that's uh, seeing a graduating class this size just helps remind us of, of, of that continued growth that's happening right. uh, here in West St. Louis County. Well, the Rockwood, the Rockwood graduating class of 92, the total Rockwood, Eureka, and Lafayette uh, graduating class is over 900 students. We're closing in on that thousand, thousand student mark every year graduating. If you just do some simple multiplication times the number of grades that we have, you can see that there's an awful lot of people. Uh, and, and the growth is below this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, it's a pretty exciting time to be in Rockwood. Uh, we are well on our way, well on our way to uh, initiating the programs at the other two high schools. The two uh, other high school principals have been named. As a matter of fact, this will be Dan Deschamps' last Lafayette graduation as he takes over the principalship at the uh, at the new Marquette High School, which will be in the northeast section of the district, located at the northwest corner of Curds Mill and Clarkson Road. And Clarkson, yes, yeah. close to shopping. <laughs> These graduates, uh, most of them uh, tonight, will leave here headed for uh, Doubletree uh, Hotel and uh, there uh, participate in Celebration 92, uh, the graduation, uh, all night graduation party, and I guess I should see Correct. alcohol and drug free uh, program that's, that's uh, right. basically put together by enthusiastic parents. Absolutely. I was talking to some of those enthusiastic parents who are already tired, but they're <laughs> going to be more tired tomorrow, and uh, we were just talking about some of the prizes. It's their hope that uh, almost everybody that will be there will win something. They're going to give away 
automobiles, an automobile, singular, <laughs> uh, and uh, various other uh, stuff that's good for taking with you to college, phones and stereo units, and cameras, and typewriters, and things like that. The all-night parties, uh, graduation parties, have been very successful over the yes, last the years, beginning, I guess, really in the mid to late 80s, uh, yes, at least in the they, Rockwood School District. It's been going on a long time. And uh, it, it was uh, the parents' reaction, uh, you know, to the problems often faced by many schools, uh, you know, on graduation night, kids not having, nothing, not having anything to do that was organized and fun and yet safe. And this was their response. And it's the kind of response we count on from Rockwood parents. And Rockwood parents have never let us down yet. Dan, we have a unique situation tonight where uh, one of our board members, Mr. Harold McDonald, will uh, be presenting the diploma to his son, Jim well, McDonald. That's good. And so that has to be a thrilling uh, uh, time of anticipation for him as right. he looks forward to doing that here in a few minutes. Well, Harold's not the only one here. Uh, I know, but he's the only one who has a son graduating. Well, you know, Last they've, year, I think they've Janet had Janet Poles, and, and uh, I think Steve Smith, at, uh, Steve Smith will present one at Eureka, won't he, tomorrow? Is that, or is that next year? I can never keep those straight. But anyway, with us tonight from the Board of Education are Harold McDonald, Janet Poles, Rudy Brenya, Peggy Ashton, and Steve Smith. John Kastner, the, the sixth board member, couldn't be with us tonight. But he personally sent me his regards to wish to all the graduates. And they're all in. <laughs> they're in and the ceremony is about to begin. Please rise for the invocation. Susanna Halstead will present the invocation. Let us think now toward the future for the realization of the dreams and goals which we each aspire to. Let us hope that we find fulfillment in all our endeavors, great and small. For among us, there are aspiring lawyers, journalists, actors, teachers, and scientists. Some of us may build bridges, find the cure for AIDS, become mothers and fathers, or even journey to the stars. We will be called sir, madam, your honor, even mommy and daddy. But whatever we may become, let us realize we are responsible for our own choices, for our own lives. Let us understand we are unique and beautiful individuals capable of exploring, creating, and questioning. And finally, let us hope that what another would say as well as us, we will not say it. What another would do as well as us, we will not do it. What another would have written as well as us, we will not write it. If we are faithful to that, which exists only in ourselves, we will all become indispensable. Amen. Taylor, the senior class president, you may all be seated. now comes to provide the welcome for this evening. And I think Natalie's going to be a teacher. You may all be seated. On behalf of the Lafayette senior class of 1992, I welcome you, parents, friends, and teachers, to this year's commencement exercises. Two authors helped me frame the thoughts I would like to share with the senior class of 1992 and the parents and friends here tonight. The first is the author of Bunk Funky Winkerbean of comic strip fame. In a recent daily installment, a senior was passing his time at his school desk reminiscing about his senior year. He summed up what I believe every senior this year felt by saying, this senior year has got to be the strangest school year I have ever experienced. The days drag on forever, but the months take seconds. By the last few weeks of this year, I think every senior believed that a Lafayette day was somehow much longer than any normal day. Yet, how far away this day seemed at that first football game played on that last hazy, humid day of the summer of 91. 
how far away today seemed as we danced through homecoming and turnabout, as we cheered our sports teams on through victory upon victory, as we struggled through chemistry problems, and as we read novel after assigned novel, or maybe just the cliff notes. And how far away it seemed as we endured two sets of final exams. Yet, before we could blink, September was gone. Holidays were celebrated, the snow had melted, the finals were taken, and the dance was over. Which leads me into my second author, the increasingly popular Garth Brooks. In one of his signature songs, he sings the refrain, Our lives are better left to chance. I could have missed the pain, but I would have had to miss the dance. Many of us would never have had the courage to go to tryouts, to step on the floor, the field, or the mat, to take the course, or to make the friendship, if we had known we would taste failure. And often we did. But we also tasted the sweetness of success. It is my hope that each member of the class of 92 has taken that risk and experienced the sweetness of success in high school. Thanks to the encouragement and inspiration from all of you, our parents, teachers, coaches, and friends, each senior here has experienced success, and we thank you for that opportunity. Yes, we could have missed the pain and the lessons we learned from it, but we'd have missed the dance, and it has been a truly wonderful dance. Thank you. who is one of the uh, four National Merit Scholarship finalists this year. Elizabeth Fowler, Sarah Vogt, and Aloysius Wild were the other National Merit Scholarship. At this point in the program, the senior choir, under the direction of Miss Michelle Rogers, will be singing a song. And Friends. It, <laughs> and it looks as if uh, most of the uh, well, it is senior choir, so I started, yes. to, <laughs> I started to say it looks like most of them are going to be seniors. Well, obviously, be a senior choir, right? Yes, we try to keep that straight, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to do is keep it straight. That's right.
High School Senior Choir under the direction of Miss Michelle Rogers singing about their friends. And friends are friends forever, but uh, for these students tonight, it may be a while before they see what uh, has been uh, classmates uh, for the last uh, three years in well, Lafayette High School. Right, and it's going to be a you know, longer distance than normal for some of them. You know, this year we've had, uh, by my count, almost uh, 12 foreign exchange students, a uh, good number of those will be going through the ceremony this evening. If we have time, we'll try to name them all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, choir members, for a most beautiful and a most appropriate number. Dr. Dennis Peterson can best be described as a man on a mission to bring about the finest educational program possible for all of the students in the Rockwood School District. In his three years as superintendent, he has driven himself relentlessly to achieve his vision of what a great school could be and should be for our students. Dr. Peterson believes that his vision can best be achieved by working through the talents and the energies of others. Through the introduction of participatory management and strategic planning, he has involved untold numbers of teachers, other staff members, students, parents, and citizens in pursuit of the best for Rockwood. With Dr. Peterson's leadership, the Rockwood School District has become the most exciting public school district in the state and perhaps in the nation. We are moving forward fast in our pursuit of excellence in education. Once again, I want to thank him for his support of Lafayette High School throughout the 91-92 school year. We know that he stands behind us and that he encourages our efforts daily. I am pleased to have Dr. Peterson address you this evening and then to introduce the commencement speaker for the class of 1992, Dr. Peterson. Thank you, Dr. Deschamps. It's a pleasure to be here. I want to add my welcome to the parents, the grandparents, teachers, and friends who have joined us tonight. This is a special occasion for you and for all of us in the district. I extend my congratulations to the graduates. Graduation is a great personal achievement, and it is the payoff for all of us in the district. Your achievement is our reward for all of the plans and work that we do. I want to acknowledge the support and encouragement that's been given to each of you by your families. I want to thank the teachers, administrators, and others in the schools who work hard every day to help our students be successful and to help you reach this point tonight. Graduates, you face a highly competitive world, a world more challenging than we have ever known. But I am confident that you have more tools with which to face these challenges than any previous generation. And you have my sincerest best wishes as you go out into this great world. I care about each of your future and I will watch it with great interest. Thank you. Our commencement speaker this evening distinguished herself in many ways during her three years at Lafayette High School. Despite being active in many areas of interest, 
she maintained a 3.8 grade average while taking a powerful and demanding schedule of classes. She ran track and cross country up through her junior year. However, it was in the area of speech and dramatics that she excelled. A three-year member of the National Forensics League, she was co-captain of the speech and debate team. In drama, she was part of the productions The Good Doctor and Six Characters in Search of an Author. Our speaker was a member of Mu Alpha Theta, the National Mathematics Honorary and Lafayette Leadership. She served as treasurer of the National Honor Society. She lists her hobbies as reading, politics, friends, and lost causes. Beginning this fall, our speaker will attend the University of Michigan, majoring in political science. Her goal is to finish law school and become a defense attorney. I am most pleased to introduce the commencement speaker for the class of 1992, Kim Frader. I listen to several people tell me, your senior year is the best year of your life. You're so lucky. I wish I could be your age all over again. Well, quite frankly, when I walked into Lafayette High School last fall as a senior, I expected some miraculous change to occur. My friends and I would have wonderful, totally new experiences to imprint on our minds forever, and classes were going to be a breeze. However, I ended up with homework. My friends and I did about the same things that we've done for the last three years. And then there were college applications. Overall, this year has not been the earth-moving experience that it was billed as. However, upon closer examination of the exaggerations of the high school experience, I stumbled upon something rather interesting. The end of high school, graduation, is given so much publicity that the years leading up to this culmination of academic success are often overlooked. So, in retrospect, when people tell you how great their high school and senior year was, what they really mean is that the steps leading up the ladder to graduation were the thrilling part. Well, take diving, for example. You, as a child, see the high diving board at the local pool as the place to go, adulthood. You pout because you want to go off the high dive immediately, but first you have to live, to swim. So every day, there's swimming lessons elementary school, if you will. Eventually, you progress and become an expert at the backstroke, freestyle, multiplication, and cursive writing. But before you can go off the high dive, first the low diving board must be mastered, junior high. You're a little nervous at first, but the first dive is fine. However, just when you start to think you're pretty cool, you lose your newfound coordination and do a belly flop into the pool. A similar experience to kissing for the first time with braces. However, by the end of your freshman year, the backward dive off the low board has been perfected, and you're becoming disinterested. But before you get too comfortable, it's time for high school, what you've been waiting for. You rush up to the ladder to start your climb, and you look up and up and up. Suddenly, the ladder seems to go on forever, and there's all these people in front of you. This could take a long time, probably about three years. But you wait patiently, and somehow you get through sophomore English and chemistry. And even though you're pretty high up on the ladder, you're still waiting. And then, finally it comes, senior year. You're standing on the top of that board looking down. But it's kind of scary up there. It's a long way to fall. But it's happened, senior year. You're about to jump off the high dive, and it's not as great as you thought it would be. Actually, as you stand on the edge of the board, you start to wonder what will happen to you when you hit the water. But this is it, you're here. There's no turning back. You've completed your senior year, and it's time to jump. It's time to take that free fall. And then you start to think of things to comfort you. All those swimming lessons, your mother's face, your father's laugh, the smell of grandma's cookies, Saturday nights at the mall, passing the rock collection assignment in earth science barely, and that long climb through high school, driving with the wind in your hair, your friend's foot on the dash, and the tunes blasting out of the radio. That climb to the top of the ladder to get through high school was difficult, but we all made it. Somehow, we all made it through, and we have something to be very proud of. 
And after remembering all that we had to go through to get to the edge of that diving board, we jump. We dive off the end because we have no other choice, because we hope that we will succeed. By the time each of you walked into this auditorium, you've already stepped off that board. It's too late. We're free falling. And it's wonderful, scary, exhilarating, and complete freedom all at once. By the time Dr. Kinder reads your name, each one of you will have hit the water. And by the time you walk out of here, you'll be coming to the surface. So that feeling that everyone describes to you is the best time of your life, it's not in the jump, it's not in the climb, but in the fall. The climb through the wading pool all the way up to the diving ladder is what makes it. Unfortunately, some of us are going to become content to become proficient with the high dive and learn more dives, but never get any higher. In order to keep the satisfaction and the feelings we feel now alive, we must keep climbing and keep reaching for higher goals, higher than that of the high dive. The accomplishment is in the fall, but the memories come from the climb. The memories that give us the strength to jump when we have to. So take up rock climbing, mountain climbing, roller coasters, skydiving, always reaching for something higher than the high diving board. It's a wonderful thing to reach your goal, the top of the diving board. But if you can see the stars from the diving board, you can touch them from the mountains. We are now faced with a choice to reach higher or jump off the same board again. Today, not tomorrow. The choice and the decision is ours now. Are we going to settle for climbing 20 feet? Are we going to climb mountains? Always. Thank you. That was Kim Prater, my friend. <laughs> an excellent speaker and an excellent speech. Sounds like she was in some of your productions. Yes. Actually, she was in some of the student productions. I let the students do the work. I see. I've gotten wise. We have coming up the Bacchanal from the orchestra. Did I say that right? That looks right.
Lafayette High School Orchestra under the direction of Miss Karen Gardius. And this uh, audience tonight of parents and friends enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. Very stirring piece. Excellent. Uh, Tis the time they've all been waiting for. Dan. Yes. The presentation of diplomas uh, by the principal, Dr. Dan Deschamps, uh, and uh, Dr. Keith Kinder, associate principal. Uh, later on, we will have uh, President Janet Poles, who will come to uh, the podium to accept the class from the principal. Uh, then we'll be on to the presentation of diplomas, which will take some time, Dan, uh, oh, yes. for this number of uh, graduates. Can you read the print in the program? <laughs> <laughs> there are pages and pages of it. And we promise we're not going to talk during this time. And we're going to let you all view At this time, we're going your to favorite senior. Students who have distinguished themselves academically during their high school years. First, please note that members of the National Honor Society can be identified by the wearing of the gold tassels on their caps and by the long embroidered white collars around the necks of their gowns. In your program this evening, several other groups of distinguished seniors are recognized. For the first time this year, honor cords are being worn by students who are members of certain departmental honor organizations. The departments and the corresponding color of their cords are also identified in the program. The program also lists the scholarships received through Senior Awards Night as submitted to us by the seniors themselves. At this time, I will ask Dr. Peterson to help me present the Special Academic Achievement Awards. Prior to the 1990-91 school year, a 4.0, or straight A's, was the highest grade point average a student at Lafayette High School could attain. With the addition of advanced placement classes and weighted grades, students can now graduate with a grade point average higher than a 4.0. We believe that an A average for all four years of high school remains a significant achievement. Please come forward to receive recognition of maintaining a perfect 4.0, this outstanding academic performance. Sean Christopher Atchison and Mark Allen Repko. later this evening. Ranking second in the class of 1992 with a cumulative grade point average of 4.04, our salutatorian is John H. Wilmus. This year's valedictorian with a grade point average of 4.166 is Marin Elizabeth Jeffrey. It is only appropriate, too, to recognize the contributions of the many parents and sponsors who have put together tonight's Celebration 92. 
The thanks and the appreciation of the senior class belongs to you and certainly will throughout this evening. Please permit me just a few brief remarks to make to the graduates. A significant marking point in your journey through life will be reached in just a few moments as you cross this stage to be recognized as a graduate of Lafayette High School. What challenge and opportunity await you? The world we share is a rapidly changing place. Only a few short years ago, as you began your high school years, an ugly graffiti splattered wall in Berlin, Germany, physically and symbolically separated two distinct and hostile ways of life. That wall was a symbol of fear and suspicion that all people lived with. Today, with that barrier only as a part of history, the United States stands alone as a superpower to adjust its focus and to seek to positively influence the new world order. That is the world that you're entering as a young adult. As we imperceptibly ease into the 21st century, challenges and opportunities abound for you, and they are what give substance and meaning to life. Your generation is being challenged to save the environment from ourselves. You too will have the opportunity to finally build a society based upon the equal worth and value of all human beings. Each of you will be offered a chance to perform meaningful work. And most of you will face the unspeakable fright of becoming a parent yourself. All in all, it's a great life. And each stage of it brings new joy. You will be happiest in that life if you focus upon what you can do for others rather upon what others can do for you. Creators are enriched beyond consumers, and as such, enjoy life more. Keep true to your dreams. You'll need dreams to sustain you throughout life, and always give your best. There's no satisfaction that transcends from doing the best that you possibly can. And now it is time for moving on. That is true for me, as it is for you. I'm personally excited about the prospect of beginning Marquette High School and serving as its first principal. Yet my seven years at Lafayette High School have probably been the best of my life. I've been blessed to work with so many wonderful parents and teachers and fellow administrators and most of all students. I thank you for your support and your encouragement. It's been a terrific run. Tonight, my sincere congratulations go also to the parents, the families and the friends gathered here this evening. The staff at Lafayette High School shares with you the pride in these students, and we share with you the feelings of loss as they go on to a new and different stage of life. It's a mixed blessing, but it's a special evening. In conclusion, as a principal, I have three wishes for you that I repeat at every graduation. First, that you be all that you can be, and that you develop your own unique and special talents. Second, I hope that you continue to care about others. We're all increasingly together in this family of man. Learn to accept each other in spite of differences. Building community is our biggest challenge. And the third wish is the daily realization that you can only truly control your happiness to the degree that you do and you give to others rather than for what others give and do for you. You've been a great class. You've made a meaningful and lasting impact on Lafayette High School. Your class took the best of the traditions from the old and brought it to the new and blended them in our new facility. As always, my hopes for your happiness, my desire for your success, and my sincere affection go with you as you cross the stage this evening. And it is now time to present the diplomas. Mr. McDonald, as the selected representative of the Rockwood Board of Education, I would like to present the class to you. Would you join me in thanking Dr. Deschamps for the seven years that he's contributed? Dr. Deschamps receiving a standing ovation from the graduates here this evening as he concludes his term at Lafayette High School. Mr. Harold McDonald receiving the class from him tonight instead of the president, Janet Poole. 
I've been privileged to serve on the Rockwood School Board for over eight years now, and this night is truly one of the highlights for a board member. There's such an excitement in the air, and this is an extra special night for my wife and I, because tonight we're graduating our first sen senior. So we share the joy and the excitement that all the rest of you parents and grandparents and friends share with your children tonight. So Dr. Deschamps, on behalf of the Rockwood School Board, we are pleased to bestow the high school diplomas on this class of 1992 as granted by the State of Missouri and the Rockwood School Board. Mrs. Paul, President of the Rockwood Board of Education, Mr. Randy, Vice President, Mrs. Ashton and Mr. Smith, Directors of the Rockwood Board of Education, will be presenting the diplomas along with Mr. McDonald. Assisting with the diplomas are juniors Leslie Terenos and Lamont Polk. We ask that you please not applaud or make any noise during the reading of the names so that each student has the equal opportunity to have his or her name read. Reading the names of the graduates this evening is our Associate Principal, Dr. Keith Kinder. The graduating class will approach the platform from alternating sides to receive their diplomas. Graduates with the last name A through K will approach the platform from the left side, and graduates with last name L through Z will approach it from the right side. Applause until all graduates are presented. Kevin L. Lancaster, James Allen Atkinson, Mary M. Lang, Christina Marie Adler. Steve Albers. Norman Allen LeBlanc. Amy Elizabeth Alexander. Christopher Brian Lee. Brian Allen. John Allen, I'm sorry. Wendy Calvert Leg. Ian Anderson. Wendy Teresa Lehman. Jennifer Anderson. Brian Lemoyne. J. M. Lima, Gina Anderson, Shelly Lynn Leonard, Angela K. Wesley, C. C. Andreas Hogan, Tyrone Lewis. 
Jeff Andrews, Kobe Gio Littler, Michael Anton Jr., Jason Lover, Kendra A. Robsman, Rebecca Lover, Christopher William Hart, Melanie Jo Arnold, Eric Loja, Devin Arviso, Michelle Lanneman, Dustin Sean Ashby, Catherine Lowry, Brett Ashman, Christina Catherine Leader, Elizabeth Renee Rasmus, Chantelle S. Malone, Sean Christopher Atchison, Kim Mange, Janet Marie Augustine, Ann Lopes, Angela Augustine, Brian Augustine, Justin Andrew Mark, Robert Ayers, Graham Markway, Suzanne Bachman, Nancy Martin, Michael Bader, David Todd Martin, Richard Byer, Kathy Martin, Sharish Lamette Baker, Ronald D. Martin, Roberto Belusi, Susan Martin, Gordon Byrne, Cheryl D. Martinez, Bonnie Barclough, Jose J. Mason, Daniel Scott Matthews, Gail Basden, Jessica Matheson, Carrie Baum, Paul Eugene Matlock, Joe Bear. Carrie A. Marr, Michelle Leah Benning, Christy Michelle Mock, Ursula Michelle Berry, Amy Jennifer Mazuka, Jeffrey Bertke. Jason Best, Robert R. McCadney, Christy Michelle Beswick, Libby McDaniel, Laura Bibbler, 
William D. McDevitt. Jennifer Blank. Cynthia McDonald. Kevin Blix. James H. McDonald. Christine Marie Bloomfield. Ryan Christopher McDonald. Ben Bolton. Kaylin Sean Cleary McDonough. Michelle Lee Boniface. Jason McIntyre. Iris Antoinette Booker. Lashonda Renee McGee. Karen Barlow. Christine Marie McManamy. Catherine Barlow. Michelle Marie Merritt. Rita Michelle Melson. Lisa Marie Mercer. Byron Boykin. Richard Venison Merritt. Carrie Brett Beth Bridwell. Jennifer Elizabeth Merritt. Charles Bryan. Michelle Metzger. Jeff Bromberger. Eric Meyer. Heidi Lee Brown. Jeffrey Lynn Meyer. Pamela Jean Brown. Jeremy Austin Miller. Rich Brubaker. Scott Miller. Dave Bryan. Emily Mimbio. Nicole Bryan. Nanette Elizabeth Mitchell. Russell Buchik. Charlene Montgomery. Barbara Ann Budnick. Byron Moore. Dana Bunce. Douglas Moore. Aaron Burke. Erica M. Moore. Cynthia Burke. Candace Lee Moore. Lavernia Burns. Tawanda Renee Moore. Andy Burrell. Catherine Marie Morgan. Heather Lee Morris. Sean Dancy Burton. Jeremy Morrison. Kimberly Denise Morrison. Brian Edward Campbell. Erica Janine Mosby. Terry Lynette Campbell. 
Robin Carol Ann Mosier. Rachel Camps. Seth Mauser. Chuck Carlson. Stacy Moyer. Kevin Carney. Timothy Mark Muehlheisen. April Carpenter. Deborah Mueller. Jason Muir. Demetra Carter. Keith Anthony Murphy. Donna M. Carter. Sean Nanny. Amy Cassani. Heather Marie Noss. Lisa Neary. Melissa Michelle Nelson. Charles Clapp. Neely Jane Nelson. Adam Clapper. Alexandra Netherton. Darcy Clare. Timothy R. Netherton. Damon James Clark. Wayne Newell. Jennifer Lynn Clark. Dean Christopher Nichols. Aaron Claspell. Dana Michelle Nix. Katrina Alish Clay. Shauna Elizabeth Nixon. Jody Ann Coco. Alicia Norman. Holly Suzanne Cody. Jennifer Lynn Norman. Chip Collins. Debbie Novak. Mary Colonna. Amy Nugent. Kimberly Connor. Kevin O'Brien. Jennifer Lee Coons. Megan O'Brien. S. Scott Copeland. Kelly O'Meara. Lynn Christine Casarini. Don O'Toole. Carl Colby Cowles III. Jennifer Ann O'Danny. Kevin Cox. Santanya N. Oliver. Matt Cox. Lori Olson. Harold Crabtree. William Paul Olson. Erica Lee Crawley. Dustin B. Olson. Bianca De Silva has arrived and is in line. Ryan Ondick. Christy Cronin. David Mark Artinell. <laughs> Brian Cross. Lisa Michelle Pandolfo. Bobby Ann Crump. Jennifer Elaine Parsley. Jessica Zaner Cuba. Susan Pate. 
Bianca L. M. De Silva. Sean Lamont Patton. Jason Eric Dahlbeck. Thomas L. Patton III. Suzanne Yvonne Dalton. Allison Nicole Beck. Jenny Beth Daner. Alina Peckett. Don L. Daniel III. Meredith Pelchman. Julie Daniel. Catherine Alice Pelton. Brady Daniels. Karina Ann Pennycook. Ryan Davenport. Chad Penrod. Sally Lynn Davis. Mark William Perkinson. Dave D. Armand. Katie Peters. William Decker. Eric Peterson. Elizabeth Ann Delaney. Kenneth Howard Peterson. Sean DeLotter. Deborah De Maria. Janet Marie Petty. Luke William D. Marti. Jeff Phillips. Ryan Taylor Dillon. Samuel Phillips. Daniel Disterhoff. Alex Piroshakis. Erica Dixon. Andres Piroshakis. Bridget Dolan. Joni Er Joni L. Piroshakis. Stacy Michelle Doman. Matthew Pitt. Emily Elizabeth Dombeck. Chris Pullman. Don Don. Abby Pollock. Brian Downs. Christopher William Pollock. Scott Drennan. Carla Maria Pontello. Leslie Suzanne Popeil. Corey Ducalo. Jenny Harrison Powell. Philip Daniel Etherton. Trent Derek Powers. Brandon Eckert. Matt Frazier. Carrie Edelman. Paul Preisner. Cole Edwards. Christina Elise Presley. Anna Marie Egan. Amy Meredith Preston. Matthew Damon Ely. Stephen D. Britt. Rebecca C. Emus. Thomas Puro. Keith John Ernst. Chitra Tayon Ramsey. Rebecca Everard. Rebecca Everard. 
Amy Gail Rankin. Tamira Falky. Brandy L. Ray. Jennifer L. Fowler. Chloe Ray. Kristen P. Fallon. Jennifer Reinschmidt. Mark Ryan Feinstein. Brian Record. Paula Jean Ferrante. Terry Rimsbecker. John Michael Finholt. John R. Renko. Brian T. Finnegan. Michael James Renna. Carolyn Rebecca Fisher. Mark Repko. Jason Michael Rhodes. Joyce Forey. Jason C. Richards. Edward Dwayne Fortson. <laughs> Stephanie Richardson. John K. Fortson. Christine Riddle. Kim Christine Frater. Tansy Crystal Ridgeway. Susan Beth Friedman. Keisha Roberts. Hermeshana Poyet Frost. Jason Robinson. Matthew Aaron Frickty. Kendra Carolyn Robson. Tina Fryer. Mark Robson. Ryan Gifuri, Christopher Wade Roby, Ryan Gallimore, Jennifer Rockwell, Todd Jeffrey Gander, Cassie Rogers, Angela C. Gast, Trina Lynette Ronholm, Orlando Gathy. <laughs> Carrie Nicole Rosenberg. Amy G. Laura Ross. Jason Paul Gary. Tammy Jill Russell. J.R. Gerst. Deborah Sanford. Jennifer Sue Gertz. Jessica Scalise. Jason Bradley Gathin. <laughs> Leslie Schaefer. Amanda Lee Gibbons. Robert Jeffrey Shag. Daniel Giesler. Natalie Schottemann. Cynthia Lynn Gilmore. Robert Schmiersoff. Brian Gadan. Francisca Smuts. Mike Gadan. Mickey Marie Schneider. Sarah Gobble. Don Rochelle Snitker. Timothy Michael Golden. Christine Darlene Roberta Schinke. Jeff Gorman. 
Amanda Blight Scott, Jennifer Gould, Frederick Scott, Robin Christine Grawl, Kelly Christine Scott, Angelo Graves, Lauren Michelle Ceci, Bertram Scarborough Green, Libby Seifert, Clayton Greenberg, Christine Marie Seymour, Shane Michael Greasehaver, Camilla Simlov, Kenneth Dennis Scrubs, James Guy Shane, Kevin Grubbs, Jeff M. Shelton, Sherman Haddad, Christina Grace Short, Carl Brian Heiser, Gretchen Krista Schultz, Mickey Hale, Kimberly, Kimberly Marie Shamansky, Kirk Halliburton, Jeffrey Brian Simmons, Trezana Lee Halstead, David Sims, Shannon Lee Hardy, Alan Singer, Carmen Nicole Harris, Sarah Renee Sirota, Kevin Hart, Steve Skelton, Deontronette Renee Hassan, Daryl Scope, Christine Faith Hawkins, Shannon Slaughter, Kathleen Michelle Hawkins, Kimberly Jeanette Sloop, Craig Hazard, David Scott Smith, Jen Smith, Bridget Heckle, Michael Smith, Debbie High Morell, Walter Darnell Smith, Kathy Lynn Heitmeyer, Emily Snyder, Chris Ann Heitmeyer, Corin Soul, Laura Helling, Beatrice Marie Sordo, Peter Hennis, Lisa Beth Spielman, Roy Henry, Tom Shreddle, Christopher Staggs, Chris Herwick, Anthony Stallworth, Matthew Thomas Hickenbotham, Mark Stampel, Tamara Dawn Higgins, Michelle Renee Hildred, Carrie Stark, Stacy Ann Hill, Todd Stark, Christopher J. Steiger, 
Eric Christian Hirsch. Jennifer L. Stimmerman. Carrie Hobbs. Carla Stevens. Stacy Lee Hoffner. William L. Studeman. Tracy Lynn Hoffner. Brian Stone. Catherine Hollingsworth. Megan Story. Misty Holloway. Kurt Stuckey. Melissa Susick. Kershatin Hooklin. Timothy Suter. Ronell D. Hooks. Kelly Sutton. Alexander Thomas Hopkins. William Swan Sarek. Sheila M. Hopper. Karen Lynn Tamulus. Jill Horvath. Kelly Tamales. Meredith Jean Hoskins. Natalie Taylor. Jason Holt. <laughs> Katarina Timio Jonas. Douglas Paul Hudson. Kurt Matthew Hubner. Thomas Thomas. Heather Humrick. Matthew Tomey. Kirsten Hunnahan. Chandra Renee Tidwell. Dave Hunnis. Chris Tinker. Joshua Lawrence Hutchison. Bruce Tippis. Alicia Highland. Greg Topfrock. David Immler. Richard Scott Tokar. Jeffrey R. Jackson. Craig Thompson. Serena Jackson, Timothy Anthony Toaster, Wendy Jackson, Lisa Trimmel, Aaron Jacobs, Teresa Tucker, Jennifer Jacobs, Stacy Turley, Juan Thomas Jameson, Keith P. L. LaWanda Jameson, Sarah Jennifer Uphoff, James Jeans, Brian A. McCarroll, Marin Jeffrey, Michelle Suzanne McCarroll, Leslie Jenkins, Stephen Vandenhoek, Darren Robert Jennings, Jeff Van, 
Mary Maylene Jensen. Tammy Annette Buck. Pat Dwayne Jensen. Gina Vermillion. Christina Jen Yulson. Janine Vermillion. David Frederick Johansson. Matthew David Beth. Eric Carl Johnson. Shannon Vicente. Jeffrey Johnson. Patrick Vinson. Jennifer Bridget Johnson. Lynn Suzanne Bogley. Jennifer Nefertiti Johnson. Sarah Elizabeth Boat. Blake Jones. Jim Botta. Carmen Jones. Scott David Wagner. Matthew Stephen Jones. Gloria Mae Walker, Melvin Jones, Michelle Denise Walls, Linda Johnson, Adam J. Jordan, Matthew Robert Walls, Shane Earl Jordan, Charles Michael Wang, Artu Michael Kaczkowski, Kristen Lynn Wardenberg, Rebecca Lynn Kempfey, J. Carlton Washington, Kelly A. Kalinowski, Stephanie Marie Watley, Jennifer Lynn Camp, Andrea Lisa Konevsky, Stephen A. Watson, Nicole Carr, Carrie Webb, Carrie Lynn Kaufman, Michael Stanley Weber, Dennis J. Keithley, Sarah Lynn Weber, Shannon Webster, Theodore Kimmerling, Garen Otto Weppelmeyer, Rick Kerr, Melissa Kathleen Weiss, Joshua Keith Kinder, David Wells, David King, Vincent H. Wesselring, Wesseling, Leah Clearman, Ann Elizabeth West, Stephen C. Klingeman, Jr., Seppi Whaley, Amy Clockenbrink, Beth Wheat, Amy Kleppel, Joe Wheaton, John Edward Knobloch, Barbara Marie White, Eric R. Cook, 
Larry Wigglesworth, Liz Cole, Aloysius A. Wild, Felix Kokosinski, Aaron Thomas Williams, Angela Boker, Ariana Williams, David Koopman, Brian Williams, Scott J. Katowski, Tammy K. Williams, Lynn E. Kramer, Michael Lee Gray, John Wilmus, Jessica Ann Krazar, Gwen Wilson, Thomas W. Cribben, Judell Wilson, Carolyn Ann Kreitmeyer, Christina M. Kuhn, Terrell Wilson, Marcia Rose Coomer, Tracy Lynn Winchester, Dave Winson, Alicia Jane Witt, Elka Wolf, Denton W. Wolf, Heidi Worms, Brian Andrew Rather, Summer Christina Wynn, Amy Young, Brandis Young, Tyler E. Zier, Jennifer Ann Zamuda, and John's Rifle. Sean draw this evening to a close, the senior class has one special presentation to make. A special person who has been a friend to everyone in this year's senior class, like us, is about to embark on a transition. The same anxieties, hopes, and apprehensions about the future each person in this room feels tonight are probably also shared by this friend tonight as he concludes seven years at Lafayette. And friend is exactly what he has been. More than just an authority, authority figure, a disciplinarian, and an administrator, he has become an encourager and confidant to each individual in our class and the six preceding us. I can truly say that each member of this class shares the same respect for this friend that I speak of tonight. In honor of his dedication, he has put into the administration, students, and traditions at Lafayette and his upcoming move to the new Marquette High School, the seniors wish to present Dr. Deschamps with a gift. Dr. Deschamps, on behalf of the senior class of 1992, I wish you and Marquette the same success that you and Lafayette have inspired in us. Thank you. That was Dr. Dan Deschamps, or Natalie Taylor presenting to Dan Deschamps would look like a very nice clock. And Dr. Deschamps receiving another standing ovation from the class of 1992 and a number of the people here at Greenfield. 
I thank you. Um, I thank you so very much. This evening is not about me, it's about you. Will the class of 1992 please stand? Please move your tassels from the left to right as a symbol of graduation. Please remember we're going to conclude with a benediction to parents and friends. Would you like to stand up and salute the class of 1992 one more time? Heavenly Father, as 606 graduating seniors stand before you, ready to pursue new heights, help us strive through varied career choices to be contributing adults. In climbing to our summit, be tolerant of the stumbling we will face in reaching our dreams. Allow us to maintain balance through strong self-conviction in our search for truth. May we share healthy, happy, and successful lives. With your guidance, the Lafayette High School class of 1992 hopes to, be, hopes to make our families, friends, and advisors proud. Proud to be a part of our accomplishments as we accept the exciting challenge of reaching into the future. In your name, we ask these blessings. Amen. And that's it, folks. That marks the end of the beginning for these people. And on behalf of the good people of CINCOM Cable, and most especially the patrons, parents, administration, faculty, and staff of Lafayette High School and the Rockwood School District, this is Dan Chogas for Dan Burns, wishing the Lafayette, Lafayette graduating class of 1992 both congratulations and the best of luck in the future. Always remember, you're always a Lancer. Showers, high in the low 70s. East wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 90%. Wednesday night, showers likely. Low near 60. Chance of rain, 60%. And Thursday, mostly cloudy. A 30% chance of showers, high in the mid 70s. The extended forecast, Friday through Sunday. A chance of showers and thunderstorms, Friday and Saturday. Little or no precipitation Sunday. High Friday in the low 80s with a low in the mid 60s. Highs Saturday and Sunday in the 70s with lows in the 50s. Once again for tonight, cloudy with showers likely after midnight. Low 60 to 65. East wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 